The funny thing about the human uh, behavior is you won't forget. Forget the tough time, forget the pain, so you can move on. So I have to force myself to remember the time in Korea. I remember my parents being divorced when I was much younger. I remember some good times, but mostly I do remember a lot of pain. When I came to the United States, it was uh, very challenging because you have to adjust it culturally. Didn't speak a word of English. Um, I was a minority, and we lived in a government-subsidized housing. I've decided I'm going to make my life better for myself by simply working hard today so tomorrow will be a little bit better than today. My high school my math teacher was an inspiration for me. He actually taught computer programming course, which was kind of rare at the time. This was in the 70s, which got me into the you know, interest in computers and then encouraged me to pursue higher education. After high school, I worked six months to uh, make enough money to go to college. I was able to finish my degree in three years and graduate with honors. At that point, I decided I'm going to join the U.S. Navy, in part to pay back the feeling of debt I felt like I owed to this country. I ended up spending seven years in active duty as an officer. By the time I got out in 89, um, I was really far behind the technology curve. So I decided I'm going to go and pursue a PhD in satellite communications. I was in a rush to get the knowledge so I can start my own company. It's hard to dream really big when you have almost nothing. But if you actually take small steps and accomplish some small dreams, that gives you confidence to tackle on the bigger task. In February of 1992, I started my own company. I was able to take the company public in five years and become the fastest growth company in the United States among all public companies. And I named it after my daughter, Yuri Systems, because you know, she was a brand new things in my life, you know, joy. And uh, having my own company is like having my own daughter. I promised myself that when I get married, I will create an environment that is loving, that is nurturing for my children. If you ask me what is my greatest accomplishment, it's my family, it's my children. Becoming a member of the Horatio Iger Association is probably the validation of everything that I've tried to do in my life. It's an extremely humbling experience.